All right, it is time now for another Country Girl Report. Today we are talking about coffee. Lindsay Oling and Sean Flattery with Paper Moon Pastries. They are here now with more. We have been looking forward to this day when we got Sean in the studio. <laughs> uh, Sean, first tell us a little bit about yourself so folks know. So um, I work in advertising here in Lincoln. I'm a creative director at Eleanor. And then uh, when Lindsay opened Paper Moon, I graduated into the role of working Saturday mornings behind the counter, making coffee and making smiles happen. So uh, it's it's a fun dual life that I lead. Yeah, and you guys have been best friends for years. Ten years Ten this years year. Ten years this yeah. year. Yeah. 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 I know exactly. Wow. <laughs> um, you also perform a lot, so you probably have seen them on stage. Um, you guys were in the Adams family. Indeed, we were Gomez and Morticia. So we've been married four times on stage, yeah. is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll post that picture on my Facebook later <laughs> so people can see it. So today we're talking about making a perfect cup of coffee, right, Lindsay? Yes, yeah. So Sean has made the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my entire life. So when I opened Paper Moon, I was like, this man needs to design our coffee menu. And he did. So he's going to show us how to make the best cup of coffee in the world, hopefully. Yeah, okay. so when people come to Paper Moon, sometimes they wonder why we don't serve things like lattes or Americanos. And one, uh, the power and water systems you need to run an espresso machine are very complex. And two, uh, Lindsay's ba style of baking is, is historical. And we're trying to pay tribute to this golden age of American diner bakery food. So mm -hmm. to complement that, we've paired it with a black cup of coffee uh, that we make all of our coffee French press. So uh, I always say that great coffee starts with four ingredients, uh, great beans, water, heat, and time. And with those four things, you can do wonders. Uh, a lot of people, when they're making coffee, they, they'll use their Keurig or their automatic machine. And mi maybe they're not paying attention to the fact that uh, what you're doing when you're making coffee is really extracting the oils and the flavors from the beans. Uh, we always start with grind from the coffee roaster on uh, Old Cheney here in Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Sam and her team do an amazing job. <laughs> they're wonderful. Um, they're wonderful. So, uh, I've got here a small individual French press um, with uh, a little over two tablespoons, because I like it pretty strong, of uh, coffee. And uh, the process starts when we insert water that's 195 degrees, and we're only going to fill it halfway. Oh, and I'm dripping a little bit. I apologize. We're only going to fill it halfway to start a process that we call the bloom. Um, the bloom is where you put enough water in to start uh, the process of extraction from the beans. Right now. CO2 gases are emitting, and you can start to see that there's little bubbles popping up. There, yeah. They have that sheen, mm -hmm. uh, like soap or oil, and that's because we are getting the oils out of the beans right now. And we'll let this sit for about a minute, uh, and then we'll stir and keep going. So uh, as I, Lindsay mentioned, you know, we're, we do love, we pride ourselves on our, the quality of our stuff. Um, so with French press, and you can already, <laughs> you can already smell it. Uh, you, Ooh, you know, yeah, the French yeah. press really does extract the oils in a way that something like a drip coffee can't really get. Um, and it really does have this rich, flavorful, uh, complete feel to it. So every cup of coffee you make this way? Yeah. Yes, we have much yeah. larger co uh, French presses yeah. at the bakery. Like family size. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> family <laughs> size. Uh, and this is, this is just for a single cup. Uh, sometimes in the morning, I, I'll just start off with this, and it's, it's so nice. This is how you make your coffee every day? Uh, I have an espresso machine now, which uh, is <laughs> wonderful. But um, I, I, my, my coffee making started, uh, I studied abroad in Florence in college, and uh, my host mom used a Bialetti um, percolator every morning and every night. She was a post-dinner coffee gal as well. And uh, so that's how I started. And I, I'm in college, I would make coffee that way for friends. And they would mm -hmm. always say, this is exceptional. And I, because I think in America, we're used to the like Folgers drip black coffee. Yes. And, uh, which is fine. Which is in fine. Like a diner, it's great. <laughs> which right. is fine. Yeah. But I think, yeah. And in the same way that Lindsay's always pushing herself to make m more and more interesting flavors mm -hmm. and to really preserve those things that I think you've got to have coffee to complement it. Yeah. So, okay. and it's something that you can easily do. So um, after four minutes has passed, then you can uh, put your plunger in and uh, just gently push it down. Uh, if you are grinding your beans at home, um, I typically go for a little coarser grind. I've read some literature saying you don't necessarily have to do that. Or the folks at the coffee roaster or any other roaster usually can grind beans for you. But uh, you can see that, yes, we've got a lovely color here. And it's ready then. And it's ready. And so wow. it's in four minutes. And in that time, I usually do the wordle <laughs> or uh, the New York Times Connections. It's a great way to start off the day. And you can do this at home. And you can do this at home, and it's yeah. a pretty easy cleanup. So cool. make um, sure you press the try it? down. Try it, try it, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. 
Mm. It's yeah, full. And it smells rich. great. I wouldn't even need any flavoring. Yeah, anymore. right. No, I think with with great yeah. coffee, uh, and that, again, that starts with uh, a quality bean that's mm. well roasted. Then you do get those notes that they say you yeah. can taste the notes, and whether that's acidic or bright or floral, um, it can really amplify right. those tastes. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Sean, Lindsay, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you so much, Paper Jerry. Moon Pastries in Cortland. Back to you, John.